Okay, good evening once again, guys. So tonight we're going to discuss yung part one ng time series natin. I have already, I have placed here some good references which I encourage you to, to, look, to look at. Of course, ano lang siya, sample lang siya, ang dami pa magandang, uh, ang dami magandang references on time series. Uh, there was a time when, when I first took time series some, some several years ago, wala naman, wala pang internet nun imagine. So, yung mga resources namin, galing lang dun sa, sa, hard, sa hard copy ng mga books. Okay, so talagang kulang-kulang talaga yung, yung information na nakukuha. Uh, ngayon, guys, ang walang problema na sa re references sa sources eh. Uh, in fact, ang pwede natin consider it can either be good or bad. Good kasi at your disposal sa internet, <clears throat> uh, madali nang maghanap ng mga ano ng mga sources. No? Uh, bad because there's a del del deluge of, of so many materials ang hirap i-filter kung ano yung titinan nyo. No? So sobrang dami ng possible na sources or references. So these are just examples of references that you may use. Okay, and then we have to load these packages, forecast, FTP3, quant mode, etc. Could you kindly load them? Uh, some of you might have problems with TSM. Okay, ako nagkakaproblema din dyan, but that, that, no problem kasi anyway, hindi pa naman natin gagamitin TSM ngayon. Uh, next, next lesson na actually yan. Okay, so let, let's run this, guys. I think uh, you haven't shared your screen. Hmm, not, I was asking a while ago, hindi naman kayo nag-aano. So, nakikita nyo ba yung screen ko, guys? Pakisagot naman, please. Uh, no. No, hindi. sir. Not okay. yet. Thank you. O oh, yan, kasi kanina tinatanong ko kayo, wala naman nag-aano, wala naman sumasagot. Okay, so kindly answer na lang, guys, para, ano, para immediate feedback sa akin, no? All right. So when I run this, okay, I hope you opened your file, guys. Yung ano yan, yung part one. Yung part two na pinos ko hindi pa yan. Later on, we're, we're going to start with that. So error in library TSM, I, ayaw niya. Uh, even if I install, install that packages. Kasi nag, nag, ano ako, nag upload ako ng nang ano eh nang uh, nagbago ka ng R Studio in, uh, in upgrade ko siya. So maybe uh, this TSM package does not work in the current R or R Studio. Software IDE. Okay, I'm trying to install TSM. So the rest of you guys kindly install these packages and <clears throat> Uh, Siyempre guys, a good practice is always to look at what the functionalities of these packages are. Quant mode na discuss natin to. Uh, ggplot2 also. Plotly, maybe not. gg45 in plotting. Okay, Urca, this will be used for when we go to, when we model yung heteroscedasticity ng isang time series. Okay. Okay, let me pause recording first. Then kindly remind me guys, baka makalimutan ko. Okay, so what's the difference between a time series and a cross-sectional data? We said that a cross-sectional data involves several units of measure. Uh, units of, uh, or individuals or units that's being considered. So, for, for instance, you have, uh, let's say, you're taking a look at macroeconomic variables of, of several ASEAN countries. Okay, so you're measuring GDP, GNP, employment rate, okay, mortality rate, etc. And then you're measuring it on one specific period of time. 
okay, kunyari, 2020, 2020, no? So that type of data is what we call cross-sectional data series, and cross-sectional data. So you have countries, and then Philippines, Malaysia, Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, lahat ng ASEAN countries and doon, no? Tapos iba't ibang variables, GNP, GDP, okay, et cetera, whatever variables. And then yung time frame niya, isang taon lang, 20, uh, let's say 2020. So that's a cross-sectional data. On the other hand, <laughs> for a time series, you only have one unit, Pinari Philippines. So you're measuring yung GDP, GNP, et cetera, from 1970 up to 2020. So Philippines lang siya, isang unit lang, isang individual lang. But taken across several time frames from 1970 to 2020, then guys, that's what we call a time series model, okay? a time series data. Now, one difference between them is that sa cross-sectional, it doesn't mean walang, walang kinalaman yung order. No? So kahit mauna si Singapore, then si Laos, then si Myanmar, it doesn't matter kung ma-reverse yung order. Kunyari, alphabetical naman. Okay, so Brunei muna. So, et cetera, no? And order does not matter really. Okay, that's important to understand because meron tayong tinatawag na autocorrelation, no? Yung, yung, if the, if the residuals or error terms are correlated to each other. Okay? So, yung autocorrelation, yung correlation ng mga residuals, is uh, of no consequence, is of no import to a cross-sectional data. Kasi pag bagu-baguhin natin yung order na, mababago yung correlation ng mga, ano, ng, mga, ng mga residuals natin. On the other hand, pag time series, kasi may, may natural order siya, 1970 hanggang 2020. Hindi pwedeng i-jumble natin yung mga, yung, ano nun, yung, yung arrangement. No? So that's a, that's a quality of a time series. So that's why sa time series, very relevant yung, yung uh, characteristic ng autocorrelation among the residuals. And that has something to do with the diagnostic ng residuals natin. Okay. So uh, in, in uh, cross-sectional data, we use multiple re linear regression. Diba? So pwede natin, for example, ipredict si... Let's say, pre-predict natin si isang financial ratio, kanyari ROA or ROE, based on macroeconomic variables like uh, GDP, GNP, and some company variables, okay? company financial metrics. Pwede natin gamitin yun for a, uh, uh, okay, uh, usually pag yan time series pala, sorry. No? Uh, so, kunyari, we're trying to predict the, Ano ba maganda example? Okay. So, sa isang school, and may collection sila ng mga GPA uh, ng mga students. So, yung high school GPA, tapos yung scholastic aptitude test, etc. And then, pwede natin ma-predict para yung example natin dati kung the student will be accepted or not. No? So, we use a uh, linear model for that. In particular, what we call a binary logistic uh, regression model. Okay, so we use, uh, if you recall guys, we use the GLM function, function, generalized linear model. Okay, <clears throat> so far we have learned yung LM, linear model, and then yung generalized linear model, GLM. May isa pa actually yung GAMS, no? Generalized additive models, which siguro yung topic na yun, I'm just I'm just going to make a recording na lang kasi wala time time para ano but i wanted to discuss that also kasi importante yung ano mas powerful yung gums no? kaysa sa lm so lm specialized na lm is a glm so pag uh, logistic regression guys uh, polynomial uh, kapag ano pala kapag uh, um, multinomial pwedeng gamitin doon tapos uh, poisson distribution gamma distribution uh, mga family na mga distributions which cannot be captured in a in in an LM uh, function and then as I said <coughs> isa pang advancement yan yung GAM G A M okay uh, but that's not our topic no I sinabi ko lang kasi pag time series guys 
hindi magandang gagamitin natin either LM or GLM. Uh, pwede pa siguro yung GAMS, no? Uh, although I have yet to see. Although may nakikita na ako ng mga time series ginagamit ng GAMS. But generally, guys, ang ginagamit na approach dyan, yung Box Jenkins approach. So it's used to model what we call an ARIMA process. So ano yung ARIMA? Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average. So it's very important that we understand what an ARIMA model is. No? So dapat at the end of this uh, session, dapat uh, ano sa atin yung kabisado natin or very uh, clear sa atin kung ano yung kung ano yung uh, ARIMA model na yan. Okay? So, an ARIMA model is comprised of three parts. You have the AR process, you have the MA process, and then you have the I process. Yung AR, autoregressive. As the name suggests, guys, auto means self. Okay? Regressive means you're regressing, you're trying to predict no? or explain a particular variable. So, ang autoregressive, when you're trying to explain a time series, <clears throat> you're using its values, yung values sa mismo, yung past values niya. Pinari, may time series tayo ng, ano, ng uh, let's say, ng uh, stock returns, no? Ni Microsoft, from, let's say, from 2010 hanggang 2020, monthly data. So, paano natin mamodel si Microsoft uh, stock prices? A time series yun, di ba? So it's not a uh, it's not a cross sectional data it's a time series data. So regularly regular yung spacing in time. Assuming guys na we disregard natin yung days na walang trading kunyari weekends or holidays kung hindi disregard na lang natin yon we can assume that the equally spaced yung yung between days no. So how do we model that? Okay we can use the box Jenkins approach developed by box George Box and uh, my first name is Jenkins. So they were the ones that developed this model, combining yung AR process. As I mentioned, yung AR, you're using the past values of the time series itself. And then the MA, you're using the past error terms. And then I has something to do with modifying your data or differencing your data. So uh, what's an AR1 model? An AR1 model. Okay, it's defined this way. So this is our time series, Y sub T, and it can be modeled as a certain mean, A sub O plus, a certain coefficient of the A sub 1 times Y sub T minus 1. Now, ito Y sub T minus 1, this is, uh, kasi yung Y sub T, di ba? Series siya, eh, di ba? Yung Y sub T minus 1 is also a series comprising of the past values. Okay, log 1. Kung daily yung data, so ang gagamitin natin para i-regress si y sub t <coughs> would be the past value. Okay, uh, let me see. I, dito ba yun? Kunyari ito, guys. So this is our data. Example lang to, random lang to. No? This is our data. This is the earliest. This is the latest. Uh, time is equal to 25. Okay, so how do we now model this? How do we now predict or come up with a model to explain this time series? So pwede tayong gumamit ng AR model. So si AR model ang gagawin, okay, so the previous value at time t is equal to 2 is time t is equal to 1. Okay, so ang, uh, ang ginawa ko guys, sa time 2, Linagay ko yung log 1 means yung previous value niya, which is 151. And then I just copy this down. So ano nangyari dito? Ito yung time is equal to 25. Ang y t minus 1 niya, yung previous niya na 147. So you now have this time series. No? Yung number of observations, of course, mababawasan ng isa. If the original time series was 25, itong log 1 natin, 24 na lang. Okay, so sa... AR1 process, minomodel natin yung time series natin, excluding the last one, with the log 1. Ito yung log 1 niya. Okay, so para magre-regression din tayo using the past uh, log 1 value. Okay? Clear ba yun, guys? So i-regress -re lang natin to. I-regress -re natin si data natin 
using the log one value. So that's your AR1 process. Okay, is that clear, guys? Pakit chat naman, please, kung clear yung concept na yun. So yung AR1 process ang ginagamit natin, re-regress natin yung time series natin on the past values of itself. Okay, thank you. Ayos, about the rest? Okay. Thank you, Samia. Okay, thank you. All right. Now, pag AR2, guys, lag 2 yun. So dito sa time is equal to 3, 2 lags niya will be 151, di ba? Right? So pagdating dito sa time is equal to 25, ang lag 2 niya will be yung value at time is equal to 23. Yan. So this is what is done with an AR2 process. No? So AR2 process, past lag 1 value and past lag 2 value. Yun ang ginagamit natin para i-regress, guys, yung time series natin. Of course, mawawalan din ng, ngayon, two, two, ano na to, no? uh, two points na yung mawawala. Okay? Kasi may lag 2 na tayo. Pag lag 3, tatlo na, etc. Okay, so that's that's what happens with an ARP process. No? AR1, AR2, or ARP. Ang ARP, ibig sabihin, P lags ng data natin. Okay, so if you take a look at the equation for AR1, so you have your time series is equal to a certain mean, a certain constant, plus A1 times the log 1, okay, plus a certain error term. Yung error term natin na yan, ang tawag dyan, white noise, and later on, titignan natin kung ano ba yung characteristic ng white noise na yan. Okay, now there's a special type of function where your A1 is equal to 0. Yung A1 natin is equal, uh, A1 is equal to 1 pala, I'm sorry. So if A1 is equal to 1, then you have this equation. Y sub t is equal to, so cancel na natin tong mean na to. Y sub t is equal to Y sub t minus 1 plus epsilon sub t. <clears throat> now this is a special, special type of series. No? It's called a random walk. And then ang random walk, guys, hindi na mamomodel yan. Okay. You cannot anymore model a random walk. Okay, so let's uh, continue, guys. So what's an AR2 model? Ano naman yung AR, AR2 model? So ang AR2 model, so this is the LaTeX symbol. Y sub t is equal to 8 naught plus A1 times Y sub t minus 1 plus A2 times Y sub T minus 2 plus epsilon sub T. So notice now, dalawang lags na yung ano natin, yung regressors natin. Okay? Lag 1 at saka lag 2. So that's the uh, AR2 process. Okay? So similar lang siya sa AR1, only that nadagdagan dito ng, ano, ng A sub 2. No? Now, later on guys, papag-aralan natin kung ano ba yung karakteristik ng Yung A1, guys, hindi lang basta-basta yan. So A1 can only be between one, negative 1 and 1. So this can be negative, but not greater than negative 1. Okay? Hindi siya pwede maging negative 1. So dapat uh, more than negative 1 siya. Kunyari 0. 0.9. No? Now, negative 0. 0.9. Tapos hindi lang siya pwede maging... So let me just write this. Negative 1 is uh, greater than... A1, greater than 1. Okay? So si A1, hindi pwedeng mas malaki kaysa 1. Otherwise, kung is equal to 1 siya, magiging random walk na yan. Hindi rin siya pwedeng maging greater than 1, guys, kasi magiging explosive na yung model natin. No? Okay? I'll, I'll show you, guys, uh, through simulation kung what happens when you have A1 greater than 1 or uh, less than negative 1. Kunyari, negative 1.5. So, hindi pa pwede yan. No? Okay? Now, ganun din guys, A1 at saka sa A2, may condition yan. No? Okay, hindi pa pwedeng 3.5 to, tapos 4.2 to. Okay, so we'll look at the characteristics of A, A1 and A2, uh, which are for the AR2 process. Okay, so in general, yung ARP, <clears throat> okay, so masyado mahaba to. Pwede ko dito ng... Isang ko lala dyan. Dito sa 3. No? Lang yung uh, 
ay mali. Backslash ba? Ayan, okay. Alright. So, to make sure that then, that must split into two lines kasi masyado mahaba yung equation natin. So, in general, guys, A, R, P process. So, P can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Walang decimal yan, guys. Hindi pa pwedeng A, R, 1.5. No? It's always a whole number. So, A, R, P process is yung Y sub P natin is equal to 8 naught plus A1 2, 3 okay, plus hanggang A sub P siya. P lags. No? So, Y sub P minus P plus a certain error time. Okay? So, that's an A, R, P. Ito yung generic na uh, autoregressive <clears throat> autoregressive at log P model. So, pag nag-model tayo ng time series, guys, para may regression din tayo, may equation din tayo. No? Only that, <clears throat> ganito yung format niya. <clears throat> so, parang regression lang din, may intercept, okay, may coefficient, <clears throat> tapos may <clears throat> error term. Tapos dito, parang dalawa yung regressors natin. No? Only that the regressors are past values of itself, kung AR, tapos kung MA naman, ito yung MA1. No? <clears throat> An MA1 process is Y sub T is equal to <clears throat> the error term plus B sub 1 times E P minus 1. <clears throat> Log 1 ng <clears throat> error term niya. Now others will define this. Yung iba, ang ginagamit nila, minus dito. No? Minus. So some would use minus and there's a reason for that. No? Uh, saka nalang natin ano yan. No? Tapos ito din, so pwedeng lahat po minus. Minus B1, minus B2, minus B, uh, Q minus 1, minus, wait, parang may mali ito. Q minus 1, ah tama. Q minus 1 times epsilon T minus Q minus 1. Okay. Alright, so this is your MAQ process. Okay, so notice that an MA model uses its past error values. Hanggang T minus Q for an MAQ process. Kunyari 10 yan, log 10. So you're using the past 10 error terms. So T minus 10. So B sub 10 times T sub T minus 10. So that's your MAQ model. Okay, and then we have ARIMA11. Ano naman yung ARIMA11? So combination to, yung first component dito is your AR. <clears throat> your second component is your MA. So the ARMA, ARMA11, okay, which is the same as ARIMA. <clears throat> okay, so si ARMA11, ARMA11 is just the same as ARIMA. 1, 0, 1. Okay? Pareho lang yan, guys. No? Oops. One comma zero comma one. Okay. Arma 1, 1 is just the same as Arima <clears throat> 1, 0, 1. Yung zero dito, guys, is for the integration or for the differencing. Okay? Explain natin mamaya kung ibig sabihin yung Integrated, no? <clears throat> Integrated moving average. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, in general, okay, so you may wish to, ano ba tong, change natin kasi, A3. Tapos plus, ito na yung, ano, ito yung, Okay, bakit hindi nag-split? Dapat mo si-split. Ay, mali. Dapat backward slash. Hindi ako nalilip dito. Okay, there. Okay, let's take a look at our model, guys. Ito yung ARMA PQ. So, parang kinumbine lang yan na ARP at saka MAQ. So, dito sa first part, and dito si A sub P times T uh, sub T minus P. No? So this is your AR process. Ito yung AR process natin. And then plus natin si MA process. 
epsilon sub t. Okay, so as I said, guys, yung iba, mina minus to, no? They're just, just the same. So just be aware na yung iba mas ginagamit yung minus dito. Okay, and there's a reason for that. Minus, minus, actually it doesn't matter naman, no? Okay, yung mga MA components, ginagamit natin yung uh, minus, no? Okay, so that this is an ARMA PQ model. All right. Now, let's just very quickly go through the steps. What are the steps in using Box Jenkins uh, in modeling ARIMA? Okay, so when you have a time series, hindi pa pwedeng kagad-kagad imamodel kagad natin. Hindi natin kagad-kagad yung auto auto.arima, no? Although, actually, pwede na, no? Okay, let me stand corrected. So, uh, pero yung long cut nito, first, siyempre, i-plot natin. I-plot dat dapat natin yung data natin as, uh, as a time series and then check natin kung stationary siya. Okay? So first, dapat may visual tayo. Now, is our data stationary? So what do we mean by stationary? Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to use a, uh, here natin tong mahanap ako ng mga plots. Okay, ito. Okay, ginugal ko lang, guys. Let's see, no? Take a look at this. Uh, I just googled sample plot stationary time series. <clears throat> okay, what's a, what's a stationary time series? So let's start first with what is not. Ano nga ba ang hindi time stationary? Ito. This is an example, guys, of a plot of a time series that's not ito. Visit nga natin para mapalaki natin. So this is not stationary. So what classifies, what wala, ito to, okay? So this is non-stationary. Why is this non-stationary? Okay, number one. Dapat, guys, the mean, the mean should be constant across time. Okay. So, kunyari, at this point, guys, at this point, yung mean natin, yung average nito is from here to here, no? yung average niya. Now, ang question, constant ba yung mean over time? Dito. Dito sa point na to. Ano ba yung average ng data set natin, ng data points natin? Di ba malaki? Lumaki na eh, no? Pagdating dito, guys, yung average niya, mas lumaki na. So therefore, this is telling us that, uh, this is telling us, that, guys, that the mean is not constant. Okay? Hindi, hindi constant yung mean natin. Over time, guys, dito lumalaki yung ano, lumalaki yung mean. So, Visually, malalaman natin guys na hindi stationary to in mean if there's a trend. Nyari, umaakit yung ano natin. It's going up or if it's going down. Then, it, we call it non-stationary in mean. So, let's go lang yun. Okay, we call it non-stationary in mean. Okay, when, when does this happen? If there's a trend, if there's a trend. So on my trend, guys, in this stationary in mean. Okay, as uh, going back to our example, this is not stationary in mean. Okay, next. Ito, guys, this is stationary no? in mean, at least in mean. Kasi yung, if we plot a line across zero, uh, across time, Yung mean, yung average niya, ba? Nag, nag, ano lang siya, naglalaro lang siya dito sa zero. May mga portions na medyo malaki yung average, but generally guys, okay, on the average, okay, the mean, the mean is zero. No? Constant yung mean. Kung hindi man zero, it can be any number, but it should be constant. Okay, so this is an example of a stationary, uh, stationary in mean. Okay, the next one is, the next one, dapat, guys, stationary in variance. <clears throat> ano naman yung stationary in variance? Okay, actually ito din. Actually ito din. 
So let's take a look at once again at this example. So is this time plot stationary invariance? Hindi. Kanina hindi siya stationary ending kasi may trend siya, no? Umaakit siya. O kaya pag bumababa yung trend, non-stationary din yung in mean. Tapos notice this, guys. Notice that it's like it's opening up, no? Pwedeng opening up or pwedeng nag, uh, nag-narrowing, nag-narrow siya. Okay, pag ganyan, guys, that's what we call non-stationary invariance. Okay? When there's an increase in the range of the data. Okay? So, ang tawag natin dyan, non-stationary in variance. Ibig sabihin yung variance is not constant over time. So, kunyari, if we draw a line here, makikita natin yung variance nagbabago. E dito, malaki na yung variance, di ba? Dito, mas maliit. Dito, uh, relatively bigger compared to this one. Okay? So, hindi siya constant. Ano yung constant na variance? Ito. So, this is also, this is not only constant in uh, or yeah, constant in mean or stationary in mean. This is also stationary in variance. <clears throat> okay. Now, why is this important? Dapat, guys, yung data natin should exhibit a stationary, stationarity in mean and in variance for us to use the box Jenkins approach. Okay, clear yun. Let me repeat that. Para magamit natin si box Jenkins approach, kailangan yung time series natin dapat stationary in mean at saka stationary in variance. If they're not stationary like this, okay, hindi natin pwede magamit si box Jenkins. You have to do some transformation for this one. Dapat i-transform natin siya para maging stationary and then when it becomes stationary then pwede na pwede na natin magamit si box jenkins okay so let's go back so dito di ba plot the data series and check it's stationary kung stationary okay na we can model it already pag hindi if not stationary then we have to remove the trend so how do you remove the trend you remove the trend by differencing the data to make the data stationary in mean. Now, what do you mean by that? So, babalik ako sa example natin dito. Okay, ito yung data natin. Let's assume, okay, pag print natin to malamang sa malamang, tinaw ko nga, insert, let's see, kasi random lang to eh. No? Insert, tagal niyang gumana. chart. Okay. Ah, ito na lang. Can you see this? Kasi time series siya. Okay. Ano na lang? Yung solid line. So na yun. Nila. Change chart type. Change chart type po lang. Okay. So guys, ito yung ah, hindi maganda example natin kasi mukhang ano siya. No? Mukhang, mukhang stationary naman siya. No? Although, parang hindi siya stationary in variance. Kasi parang nagnanaro, nag uh, bumababa yung ano no? Yung yung variance across time lumiliit, no? Okay, but in mean guys, medyo stationary siya. Wala naman siyang uptrend or downtrend. So this is not a good example kasi nag-random lang ako niyan. But anyway, guys, let's assume that there's a trend for this data. Okay? So how do we remove the trend? You remove the trend by getting the by differencing it. So, paano i-difference yun? Okay. So, to difference, guys, <clears throat> kukunin natin yung value at time t. Take a look at this. Value at time t minus time t minus 1. And then, copy down. So, what do we have now? We have now a new series. Okay. Itong series ito, guys, hindi siya yung ano, hindi siya yung original series. 
Now, this is what we call a difference, difference series. Na difference siya. Sinabtract natin. Okay? Alright. So, this is what is suggested. Pag may trend, guys, para tanggalin yung trend, mag-i-difference natin. So, pag dinifference natin yung data, guys, take note, ibang series na yung model natin. Okay? Ito na, no? Uh, I-plot na natin, tinan natin kung uh, definitely, guys, ano to? Definitely, uh, ano to? Stationary in mean. No? So, tinan nyo, no? Alright? So, constant na siya across, across time, di ba? Okay, random siya across time dito. So, walang trend to. No? So, pag may trend kasi, guys, pag may trend yung data series natin, so, ibig sabihin, hindi siya stationary. So, what do we need to do in order to generate an ARMA or uh, ARMA model out of it? No? With difference. No? With difference. Ito, guys, yung integrated. Okay? So, when you have an ARIMA model, nari ARIMA 111, ibig sabihin nun, that data that you're using is a difference data. Yung 1 sa gitna. So, let me write that. ARIMA. One, one, one. Okay, yung nasa gitna, guys, ito. Yung one sa gitna, that's your D. Differencing. Kasi ang arima, let me copy, ang general na <clears throat> general na form ng arima is PD. And then yeah. So this is the general form of an ARIMA model. P stands for the order, the log of your AR. Q is the log of your MA. And yung D dito, differencing, yung, yun yung I, yung integrated. So ang tanong dito, ilang beses mo dinifference so, pa, para maging stationary siya. Usually guys, usually one lang yan. No? Ah, madalang yung kailangan pa ng dalawang differencing. Kasi pag dalawang differencing, ganito na yan. Diba? So, di ba nag-difference na tayo? I-difference natin ulit. So, this one minus this one. Yan. Okay, so this data set, guys, is now your second difference. Okay? So, this is your first difference. This is now your second difference. Okay, yun yung PDQ dyan. Kung yun nga yung kailangan natin, magiging 2 dito yan, no? Okay, yung difference natin magiging 2. Alright. But take note guys, when you're modeling, no, just, just be aware that when you're, when you're using this ARIMA function, pag win na niya, ibig sabihin nun, ang minomodel na natin, uh, technically ito na. No? Technically this data series. Or it's this one, pero ima-minus mo. Maglalago one ka na difference. Okay, which is this one. Kung 2 naman yan, amino model na natin technically ito na. Itong data series, itong time series ito. <clears throat> okay, pause muna ako guys. Clear ba so far? Paki-chat naman kung naintindihan yung ano, yung <coughs> yung model natin. Any questions? Clear ba so far, please? Okay, good. Okay. All right. So, pag may trend, paano natin matatanggal yung trend? I-difference natin. Okay, pag hindi naman stationary yung variance, ibig sabihin merong merong fanning, no? F A N N I N G. So, parang bumubuka yung ano niya, yung opening niya, either palaki or paliit, no? So that's uh, what we call non-stationary invariance. And how do you address that? Usually gag gagawa tayo ng log transform. Okay? So yung data natin, guys, uh, usually nauuna yung differencing tapos minsan guys natitreat na yung ano eh natitreat na yung non constancy invariance pag nagdi-difference pag hindi pa rin kailangan ngayon i-ilog natin yung difference na data series okay take note ha kasi dinifference muna natin di ba and then pag na-difference na so bagong data set na yon saka natin ilolog ilolog natin yung naka-difference na data set okay i hope that's clear guys so, differencing log transform data to make the data uh, difference ng 
log transform to make the data stationary on both mean and variance if necessary. Minsan guys, kahit na i-ano lang, i-difference lang, okay na. So, constant na rin siya in variance, which means say stationary na siya. So, you don't have to do log, log transform. <clears throat> okay, next step, yung 5A. Plot. No? I-plot natin yung transform data. Check natin kung talagang ano na, kung nag-difference tayo. Parang yung ginawa natin kanina, pre-not ko. Tapos nakita natin, oops, okay, mukhang, mukhang okay na siya, no? Uh, I think, guys, I missed out on this. Pakilagay na lang dito. Step 5A, yung plot the transform data. <clears throat> okay, para may visual tayo kung kamusta na yung difference or difference na log na data natin. Okay. Uh, ang objective dapat, guys, difference siya. Uh, sorry, stationary siya. We cannot do box Jenkins if the data is non-stationary. <clears throat> okay, then another way to test is statistically test, no? kung stationary yung data natin. So maraming test yan. Isa yung ADF, Augmented Dickey Fuller. So sulat ko lang dito. So Augmented Dickey Fuller Test. Yan, ADF test. No? ADF test is Augmented Dickey Fuller Test. Ito test niya kung stationary yung data series natin. Or KPSS. No? I forgot the name of KPSS. Mga ba, ibig sabihin? Anyway, tinan nyo na lang. Pero niya tayo yung isa. Call Morgorov. Pero I, I forgot. No? Okay. And then yung step 6, guys. Okay. Ito, kailangan-kailangan talaga dati. No? When there were no softwares uh, available. So, manual talaga. no Kasi mahirap, guys, gumawa ng ACF at saka PACF. Mahabang process. <clears throat> That's why uh, if you compute for that, eh, kailangan i-compute yun kasi doon ang magbibigay sa atin ng clue if our time series, if our stationary time series is an AR1 process, an MA1 process, an ARMA11 process. So doon natin malalaman kung ano siya, kung AR1, MA1, yun ang magbibigay sa atin guys ng ano, ng ng, uh, let's say, ng clue. No? Excuse me, hindi lang. Okay, so that will be the one that will give us a clue kung AR1 or MA1 or MA11 uh, sorry, ARMA11 or or ano or AR22 etc no etc AR2 pala or ARMA22 okay so it's important to plot yung ACF autocorrelation function at saka yung PACF partial autocorrelation function to identify if the time series uh, is an AR model or an MA model okay so pag na plot na tapos na identify na then kung M uh, ano yan, arima or uh, uh, guys, pag arima, di ba dinifference natin, no? Kung AR, whatever ARMA process that is, so mag, ma, using computation, makakompute na natin, malalaman na natin kung ano, kung anong klaseng AR or MA or ARMA process yan, etc. Okay? And then, check na natin kung okay siya. Okay, and then, uh, check natin kung yung residuals. Okay. Yung residuals, dapat siya white noise. Okay. Ano yung white noise, guys? Ano yung white noise? Mamaya, papakita natin via a, a plot, no? Para mas maitindi natin kung ano yung white noise. Okay? So, and then, of course, uh, no, step 9, yun yung diagnostics natin, no? Itetest natin kung okay na yung model natin. Okay. So, uh, let's uh, continue. So dito din describe lang natin kung ano yung stationary time series. Nasabi na natin yon Mean, variance, autocorrelation are all constant over time. So mean is constant over time. Variance is constant, constant over time. Okay? Ang property niya, mean, variance, do not change over time. So of course, maano siya, may, ano siya, may galaw, may movement. Kaso, uh, it moves uh, within a certain band. No? 
So hindi siya lumalabas dun sa band na yun. So it looks like a flat looking series. Walang trend. Constant yung variance over time and constant yung autocorrelation structure. At saka walang periodic fluctuations. Okay. Uh, in other words, guys, uh, <clears throat> It's uh, a stationary time series is one whose properties do not depend on the time at which the series is observed. So kahit sang time frame mo tingnan, constant yung mean, constant yung variance. Okay? <clears throat> Ang isang time series na may trend, na may seasonality, hindi yan stationary. No? Okay. So here are some references, guys, for you to look into. Okay. Now itong white noise. <clears throat> Sabi natin, guys, pag nag-model tayo ng AR or MA or ARMA, dapat yung residuals, dapat white noise siya. Okay. Ang ibig sabihin ng white noise, guys, wala na, ano na yan, hindi na natin mamamodel yan. Okay? So, uh, later, makikita natin later on pag nag-plot tayo. No? Ibig sabihin, wala na siyang predictable pattern. Okay, so that's what we mean by, <clears throat> ah, wala, of course, walang trend, no? Walang seasonality. That's what we mean by, by uh, white noise. <clears throat> okay? So white noise is generated uh, after, we gener after we come up with an AR, Ar ARMA model. No? Yung hindi ma-capture ng ARMA process nat natin, pumupunta siya dun sa residual sa error term. No? Dun siya napupunta. Right, so let's uh, I'll leave you guys to read read through this. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, use the data set, air, air passengers data set. Uh, I'm not sure, guys, umabot ba tayo dito last meeting nung inintroduce natin yung time series? Hindi yata tayo umabot dito, no? Okay, so sige, guys. Let's... Uh, get the, let's use this air passengers. This is from the uh, data sets package. So we can access it automatically because a data sets package come, it's loaded with uh, Arna mismo. Okay, so kindly run guys, yung data, air passengers. Okay, now nung nag-upload ako ng RStudio, medyo naiiba na tong view ko. No? Dati pag nag-view ako, automatically makikita ko yung ano eh. Yung uh, uh, I'm not sure kasi mukhang time series siya. Pag time series, dapat malilist din niya eh. No? Dapat mapapakita niya dito. How about you guys? Kindly inform me please. Nung nag-ano kayo, nung nag-view uh, kayo, lumabas ba yung time series dito sa ano? Uh, Nag-list ba siya? Wait nga kayo lahat ano. Co-host. Guys, ano nangyari? Yeah. What happened guys sa uh, pag-view nyo ng pag-view nyo, nyo ng ano ng AP. Uh, I-claim ko pala yung host. No? Okay, lumabas no, kay Payus. How about the rest? May iba guys. Sa akin hindi. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure it, if it has something to do with the uh, RStudio. Kasi hindi naman dati ganyan eh. Nag-upgrade -up ako ng RStudio. Nagkaka-problema dun sa view ko. How about sila, kayo Ina, Samia? Ano nangyari? Tumabas din sa akin, sir. Different okay. tab. Okay. Sa, sa akin, hindi kasi. Hmm? Hindi eh. I don't know. I, ano yung nga? Tingnan mo nga, ano? Tingnan nyo guys. Mag-class nga kayo, class. Ilagay nyo class. Ah, ito muna, no? Let's, mahaba kasi air passengers. Tawagin na lang natin AP. Control, enter. So we now have an object called AP. Okay, and then let's uh, get the class of AP. Uh, I'm not sure if it has something to do with... Kunin nyo nga guys, kahit sa ano na lang, sa console. 
Anong class ng AP lumalabas? Is it a TS object sa inyo? Or is it a data frame or a list? Ano lumabas? I'm, I'm curious. No? Uh, TS, sir. Time series then. Mm, yes, okay. Sir. okay. Time series. So it has, doesn't have anything to do with the class of object. I will have to decipher pa kung bakit hindi lumalabas. Okay. Anyway. All right. Okay. Pero kapag i-head ko, nari siya, head AP ng let's see, 24. Ah, sorry. Mga uh, kapitan. Okay. Okay. So we have in data natin, January up to December, no? 1949 up to 1950. I think this is up to 1960. Yes. Sorry, sir. Hindi ko makita yung screen. Hindi ko sure kung ako lang. Ah, doon ba? Bakit? Wait. Uh, same, sir. Can't same. see the screen ah. also. Sir. All right. Sige, galihan. Kanina yata nung pag ano ko, pag, uh, pag ano ko ng hosting. Okay. Okay, kita na? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, so okay, uh, hindi ka kasi hindi ko maparan dito sa ano eh, dito sa sa uh, tabs dito, no? Ayaw niya eh. Hindi nag hindi nag-generate yung ano. Uh, so I just got got the head ng object natin 24. So if you can see here, yung nature ng data natin January hanggang December. So this is monthly data from 1949 to 1960. Right? Diba? 1960 siya. So 12 years to, no? 12, 12 years ng, <clears throat> ng uh, a number of air passengers that were recorded since 1949 hanggang 1960. Okay. So let's take a look at the structure niya. Okay, not end. Structure, so it's a time series from 1949 to 19, ah, 1961 pala. So 13. Baka 1960 lang to. Alam ko 12 years to eh. Okay, let's take a look at the frequency. So 12, ibig sabihin monthly. And then cycle, yun na yung cycle, no? Okay. So, uh, ito guys, yung parang index niya. So, si 1949, 1 hanggang 12. Okay, tama. Hanggang 1960 lang. Yung January, lahat yan, naka-index sa 1. Yung February, lahat 2. Hanggang December, naka-index sa 12. So, that's yung cycle natin. And then, i-summarize lang natin. Tingnan natin. Summary. Okay, this will give us, kasi isang ano lang naman siya, isang variable. No? Summary stat. Minimum. Maximum. Okay. And then yung mga quartiles natin. <laughs> okay. Any questions so far, guys? Okay. <clears throat> Ito yata hindi ko binigay sa inyo. So uh, let's plot this first. Let's just use the base R uh, plot function. So let's create an object called P1. Plot natin yung data set natin AP. Lagyan natin ng label yung x-axis, date, and then y-lab is equal to passenger frequency. So these figures are in thousands. So tingnan natin air passengers. Uh, yung metadata niya, ang sabi thousands to yung data natin. And then yung main, main, main title natin, air passenger from 19, so this is 1949, mali, to 1960. Okay, and once you're done, you can now plot this. So separate tab. 
ko, separate tab kaso, kung lumabas nga ng separate tab kaso sa akin, hindi siya naka-ano, hindi siya naka-list. No? That's what I meant a while ago. Okay. So let's plot this, guys. Para makita natin kung yung ano natin, ayan. Okay, so this is our air passengers. No? Alright. Question, guys. Stationary ba yung data natin? Stationary by AP data set natin. Answer please. Okay, unmute na lang, please. Stationary, stationary ba yan? No, sir. No, thank you. So, hindi siya stationary, no? Obviously, una-una may trend. Tapos, non-constant yung variance. You notice that there's a fanning, fanning, uh, fanning uh, effect, no? Lumalaki yung yung variance natin over time. Yan. Yung variance dito, as compared to here, hindi na siya constant. It's increasing over time. So, we cannot use Box Jenkins approach here to define yung ARIMA. We need to do some transformation here. Okay, so, but before we do that, uh, sige, isang plot, papareho lang naman to, but we can use the, may, may package yung GG45, e, Linode na natin kanina, no? So let's let's use that in order to plot this. Pareho lang naman yun. Gusto ko lang maging aware tayo na if you don't want the base R, we can use the uh, the GG, GG45 plot. So let's create P2 out minus. <coughs> okay, so we're going to use the auto plot function. Itong auto plot function na to from from Okay, bakit wala dito? Sandali ah. Uh, GG45. Auto plot. Okay, auto plot. Maraming auto plot. Si GG45. May auto plot that basis. Ang dami, no? If you take a look at the several auto plots. Auto plot that PS. Auto plot that performance. I do not see the auto plot lang. Okay. Auto plot that ps. Okay. Siguro dapat nagin natin auto plot that ps. Let's let's check. I want to check kung kung tama yung ang natin. Auto plot that ps. <clears throat> okay. So ganon then guys. Yung auto plot natin si ap. AP and then we add mag iba yung syntax kapag ano no kapag uh, GG45 uh, magi natin label label natin is uh, passengers passenger frequency frequency na lang in thousands <clears throat> okay and then mag add pa tayo Pagin natin dito sa main. Main is equal to air passengers in thousands from 1949 to 1960. Yan. <coughs> okay. And then we, we plot A to P2. <coughs> so let's see. Oops. Okay. Namali ko dito. <clears throat> Ay, <may>. sorry. <clears throat> ah, okay. Sorry, sorry. Guys. It's not plus, no? It should be gamma. Yan. 
Okay, I hope tama na to. <coughs> Mali pa rin. Siyan ako nagkamali. Why? Ah, okay. <clears throat> Sandali ah. Ang autoplot. <clears throat> okay, let's check ko lang to ah. Object. So, most complex tong ano, no? Tong <clears throat> Ylab. <clears throat> Ylab X lab. Pero pwede yung pagsama yan. Okay, sorry about this. Let me try this. No? Uh, may mali ako dito. Gawin ko na lang dito yung label. No? So let me use uh, <clears throat> label yung functional labs. Okay, and then gawin natin lagyan natin ng ano yung x-axis. Ang x-axis natin dapat ma-identify natin sa yung date date okay tapos okay, yung y okay ap tapos dali ha na i can check ko lang natin May problema ako dito. Baka hindi. Check natin dito ah. Kasi baka magka problema tayo dito sa plus. No? Okay. Label natin. X is equal to date. Tapos yung Y natin. Sorry about this. Y is equal to. Ito. Ito yung Y natin. No? And then. Yung main natin. Okay. So I think this is okay na. <clears throat> Open. Tapos i-close natin. Tama na ba? Yung labs natin, label y is x is equal to y is equal to tama main is equal to open and close. Close. Okay. So, <clears throat> check mo nga. Hmm. Library. Hindi ko pa ba nala library? Si GG45. Okay. So. Pinakuha ko ba dito kanina? Sorry ah. GG. Oh. Ano ano ano? Pinakuha naman siya. I'm wondering why. <clears throat> okay. Sige. Hopefully, okay na to. Plot. Huh? Ayaw talaga. No? Could not find function autoplot.ps. Okay. Kasi ang alam ko, autoplot lang, pwede na yan. Tignan natin itong autoplot, guys. No? Yan. Ayun, magandang din. Yan. <clears throat> okay. All right. Sorry about that, guys. No, I, I just wanted to illustrate na uh, may mga packages that that can also do. Okay. Yung, yung iba kasi, of course, pwede pa natin pagandahin to. Mas, ano guys, mas uh, madali i-manipulate yung sa GG45. It's easier to manipulate and then it's easier to change the formatting. Mas mahirap yung sa base R. But we're not going to do that. I just wanted to introduce yung GG45 na package. Okay. Alright. Now, 
Ah, uh, tingnan natin guys kasi kita naman natin yung ano no, yung seasonality, di ba? But siya kaya ganito. So may mga months siya, may mga months na tumataas siya. <coughs> As mo baba, no? We can actually plot plot this per month. So let's not do that anymore. Dito lang tayo mag-box plot tayo. Guys, <coughs> let's do a box plot. So let's call this P3. Alt minus. So yung plot number 3 natin, we're going to use the box plot. The box plot function. Okay, so box plot natin, ano? <coughs> Pero ito, si box plot, i ano natin, no? I by cycle siya. So parang i-regress natin. By cycle. Cycle ni okay, AP. Okay, pause muna ako dyan. So what are we doing here? Yung box, yung box plot guys, magbabox plot tayo. Uh, and then, wait. Uh, may kulang ako dito. Dapat yung object natin, AP. Sorry about that. AP. And then, dapat Ah, uh, isasama natin yung cycle, no? Okay? Box plot, AP dapat yung cycle na AP. Tapos lagyan ulit natin ng ano ng x label is equal to date. Tama, and then y label ulit natin. Y label is equal to popping ko na lang to. Control C, Control D, monthly air passengers, <clears throat> and then box plot, box plot of uh, <clears throat> data natin monthly, no? monthly air passengers in thousands. Tapos, again natin, uh, 1949 to 1960. Okay. So, check ko lang box plot, AP, and then isasama natin sa box plot yung by cycle January to uh, February, yung pag plot niya. May label yung X, may label yung Y, kunan ko dito. And then yung main natin, yan. Okay? So, I think we can now uh, run this, plot natin to. So, I'll give you a few minutes. A few seconds and then when you're done guys, kindly chat kung lumabas na yung ano, box plot. <clears throat> kindly chat please kung... kung nakapag generate na ng box plot. <clears throat> Okay, thank you, Ina. Let's wait for the rest. About the rest, guys, and the chat, please, so that I know if I'll continue already. Samia, Payus, Ina, what happened? Naka ano ba? Naka plat ba kayo? Okay, thank you. Let's wait for Samia and Ina. Kung naka, kung naka plat sila. Okay, good. All right. Thank you, guys. So, iraran ko siya. And then you can see here a box plot per month. No? Yeah. Uh, wait. Uh, box plot. Sorry, hindi per month, but per year. Ah. 
yung year to, no? Cycle pala yung inunan natin. <clears throat> yung cycle kasi, yung year siya, di ba? Nine, uh, okay, cycle is the... Ang cycle kasi yung month, eh. Month at saka year yun, eh. So, wait. Dali, bigla ako na confused ah. So, ito, Okay, date. So, date to. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, <clears throat> date ng, so this is 1949 hanggang 1960. So, therefore, ito guys, ito yung, ito yung average, ito yung median ng lahat ng January. No? Lahat ng February, March, April, May, from 1949 to 19, and then, 1949 lang to, sorry. So, January no 1949, Ah, no, no, wait, wait. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry na. Uh, sorry, medyo temporal na na-confuse ako. No? So this is 19, 1949. This is the box plot of the air passengers for 1949. Ito 1960. Okay. Uh, we can see here that parang mali ako. Okay. 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 Sorry guys, I stand corrected, no? Yung date dito, since yung cycle natin refers to uh, yung frequency natin na monthly, no? Okay, so ito This is the uh, this is the uh, monthly data natin. So ito lahat ng January, no? From 1949 to 1960. Ito yung plot ng box plot ng January, February, March, April, May, July, August, September, October, November. So we can see here, guys, that uh, on the uh, yung median, ang pinakamalaki, guys, is on July. So sa July, siya yung pinakamaraming, siya yung pinakamaraming passengers from 1949 to 1960. Okay, siya din yung pinaka-maximum, no? Okay, so ang pinaka-mababang travel is February and November, no? Sila yung tide. Tapos, pinaka-maraming frequency ng travel, uh, air passengers, is July and then August. <coughs> Tapos, ang pinaka-konti itong February and November, I think, no? Okay, so this is the box plot para may idea tayo, guys, na uh yung pinakamalaking frequency ng ano ng ng travel is July and uh, August no? followed by June okay pinakamaliit is February and November okay clear yung guys sorry for the for the, the uh, confusion in the explanation okay so let's uh, continue guys so ito, ano lang to, no? I, I will not uh, read this with you. Uh, ano na lang to, no? Yung, yung some, uh, some notes about the <clears throat> plot natin. Okay, so di, ito sinabi ko dito, passenger numbers increase over time with each year, uh, which may be indicative of an increasing linear trend. Perhaps due to increasing demand for flight, and commercialization. There are more passengers traveling in months six to nine, okay, with higher means and higher variances than the other months, indicating seasonality. No? Ibig sabihin, tuwing July, tumataas yung, ano, yung travel. Tumataas yung air passengers July and June. From June, July, August, September, September dun, mataas yung ano. Okay, so most probably summer months sa US. Okay, and then uh, meron tayong seasonality. Ano? Yung seasonality guys, it can be dalawang class yung seasonality. You have additive okay, and uh, multiplicative. So modeling lang yun, ginagamit lang siya sa modeling. So sa practice, pinitin na natin kung 
kung sinong mas konting error ang nag-generate kapag multiplicative or additive o may seasonality. So, syempre, ang gagamitin doon yung mas less, mas less yung error. Okay, but we won't go there, go there guys. No? Kasi ang gagamitin natin is ARIMA. Okay, so here are, here's, here's a note guys on additive versus multiplicative seasonality. But we will not go there anymore. Okay, so we can decompose this. Yung plot natin, pwede natin i-ano, i-plot natin, pwede natin yung normal na plot. Tapos pwede natin i-plot yung trend. Tapos yung seasonality. Tapos yung noise, yung yung hindi ma-capture ng trend at saka ng regular uh, time series component. <clears throat> so how do we decompose? No? So pwede natin i-decompose to. We can use the, uh, the decompose function. May decompose function. So tinan natin. Decompose. Decompose. Okay. So yung decompose function. Okay, wala. Pero nasa stats package yan. Decompose. Ayan. Ayan, from the stats package. No? Okay, dali. Stats. Decompose. Here. Okay, so what does this function do? This function will decompose a time series into seasonal trend yung irregular component using moving averages. <clears throat> it deals with either additive or mul multiplicative seasonal component. So dito guys, tinan nyo lang ito ah. <clears throat> okay, the additive model, uh, ginagamit ito pag mga moving, sa moving averages. No? Uh, y sub t is equal to yung trend plus the seasonality plus the irregular component. So multiplicative model naman, y sub t is equal to the trend times the seasonality times epsilon sub t, the error term. Okay, so that's the difference between the additive, as the name suggests, and the multiplicative. Okay, but hindi natin imo model to, no? kasi mag-aari mga tayo, tayo, hindi tayo mag -ano. But let's just, let's just plot, no? So let's uh, decompose, let's call this object decompose, and then uh, gamitin natin, uh, uh, decompose natin si, Okay, natin AP and then additive. Yan. So I'm just uh, calling at the name and decompose natin yung AP na data set natin using additive. So we're going to use the stats package, but you don't have to write that. And then decompose. No? Decompose. Sila i decompose natin si AP. No? Si AP. And then we identify anong type. Pinamun natin additive. Although hindi naman siya masyadong, masyadong magkaka, ano, magkaka, we cannot really discern, no? Uh, yung difference sa additive at saka sa multi multiplicative. Sa statistical test na natin makikita yan. Okay? And then, i-autoplot natin. Gamitin natin yung autoplot function natin kanina. Yung decompose. Okay. So, ipaplot natin. So, first, i-decompose muna natin. Di ba sabi ni are sa decomposition hinihiwalay yung trend yung seasonality at saka yung irregular component yung error term okay so additive plot natin okay so this is now your decomposition no? ito yung original data natin kita natin yung trend kita natin yung seasonality okay i ano ko lang to i expand Okay, so here's our data. Kita natin yung trend. Kita din natin yung seasonality. Ano? Ito yung mga months, June, July, August. Yan. Tumataas siya. Then pagdating dito, ito yung sa December. No? December, ah, November, December, January, and then February, bumababa na naman siya. Diba? Yun ang pattern niya. Okay. Then, dinocompose natin siya into 
yung trend ito. Pataas yung trend, di ba? Trend na lang siya, wala na yung seasonality. Tapos ito yung seasonality. Ito yung pattern niya. Ito yung months ng June, July, August. September. Tapos baba ng November. No? December, January, and then February, bababa na naman. Okay, yun ang pattern. No? I'm not sure why February, guys. Uh, February, bumababa siya. No? There must be a reason for that. I'm not sure. Pero yung, ano, yung November, air passengers, bumababa ng November. Surprising kasi, ano yun eh, di ba? Pag uh, uh, Halloween at saka Thanksgiving, usually nagpupuntahan yung mga tao. Okay, anyway. I can, we can only guess. No? <clears throat> Alright. So, may, yung isa naman, guys, i-copy na lang natin ito. No? Control-C. Yung isa multiplicative. Although, hindi masyado makikita yung ano dito. No? Yung, and then, let's call this multi. Multiplicative. And then, ito gagawin natin. <coughs> multiplicative. <coughs> Decompose din using multiplicative pero uh, hindi masyadong apparent. Kailangan makita natin yung statistical model para makita natin yung difference ng, ng uh, composition ng halos pareho lang. No? May konting difference. Okay, this is now your multiplicative seasonality factor. Ito na yung additive. It's uh, quite difficult to see the difference dito lang sa plot. Doon sa statistical modeling natin makikita yan. Okay, clear so far guys? Up to this point, clear? Dapat matapos natin ito ngayon at saka masimulan natin ng konti yung, yung next one. Okay, clear so far guys? Good. All right. Now, so far, guys, we just visualize our data. And then, ang conclusion natin, hindi, obviously naman, hindi siya stationary. <clears throat> Di ba? Kasi may trend at saka non-constant yung variance. Pero there's a statistical test for that. So, ito na yung gagamitin natin, yung ADF, no? Augmented Dickey Fuller, where the null hypothesis is the time series is not stationary. Okay? So, let's Tignan natin, guys. ADF. No? That's our function. Uh, ADF. Uh, that test. Complete. Okay, no results found. Okay, itong isang ano lang, let me see. Isang question mark. Yan, okay. All right. ADF.test, this is from the, uh, the package T series. Okay, computes the augmented DT Fuller test for the null that X has a unit root. Okay, ang ibig sabihin guys, kung may unit root, ibig sabihin, not stationary yun. So another way to say this is time series has a unit root. Okay, so ang ibig sabihin ng another way to say na non-stationary siya is that it has a unit root, the time series. Time series has a unit root. Okay? So, ito yung ano, ito yung yung syntax niya. Copy na lang natin ito. Uh, kaso magta-truncate pa dito. Hanggang dito lang pwede na. Hanggang dito. Let me just copy this. Control C. Control B. Okay. So, let me put the para alam natin kung saan package galing to T series and our object is AP okay yung alternative natin gawin lang natin na ano 
na stationary lang. Stationary, stationary lang muna. Okay. So this is our uh, augmented Dicky Fuller test, no? Ito test natin kung <clears throat> kung para maglagay tayo guys ng ano log order no to calculate the test statistic ito pa pala may k no? k sabihin natin ang k natin just to simplify it k is equal to 12 logs k is equal to 12 logs okay so let's run this run okay so this is our formal statistical test kung stationary yung data natin. ADF test, okay? Augmented Dicky Fuller test, data AP. Then you have your DF statistic, negative 1.590. Log order is equal to 12. P value is equal to 0. 0.7807. So this is uh, more than 0. 0.05. No? So we fail to reject the null hypothesis that the time series is non-stationary. Tama nga, no? So tama yung visualization natin na hindi stationary yung non-stationary yung time series or it has a unit root. So we are able to <clears throat> we're able to statistically no? statistically test kung stationary or non-stationary yung data natin. Okay, another way to test kung stationary siya o hindi is using the ACF and the PACF. Yung ACF, yung correlogram natin, ang correlogram plot ng mga correlations. No? Because those are what ACF and PACF are. Mga correlations sila ng iba't ibang lags. Okay, so let's let's do that. No? I-test natin. Okay, so mag magpa-plot tayo ng ano ng uh, ng Una muna guys, kunin natin, compute muna natin ACF, no? First, let's uh, create an object called A1. Okay. Minus, okay? And then let's create this uh, ACF. Kunin na pa compute natin yung autocorrelation function ng object na AP. Uh, gawin natin log is equal to uh, <clears throat> so pwedeng 24, pwedeng 36, 32. Gawin na natin 18 para mas konti. No? Uh, de. Ano ba yung syntax itong ACF? Okay, wala tayo guys. Sorry ha. Hindi ko kasi kinakabisado yung mga ano. Yung mga ito. Hindi ko kinakabisado. Unless na talagang laging ginagamit. Oh, so this is from the stats package. Sorry, ito. Ito yung ano natin. Log.max. Lagyan natin ng log.max. Sequel to gawin natin 30. No? Hanggang 30 logs lang. Okay, tapos. Uh, plot. Sige, plot. Sequel to true. Ipa-plot na natin, no? Plot is equal to 2. <clears throat> okay. Sige. Let's run this. Kamaya yung PACF naman. Okay. And then, let me... Uh, hindi ko lang alam kung mag-review ko yung A1. No? Okay, let's, let's see. Okay, so ito A1. Okay, so it's a list. A1 is a list. And then, ito. Okay, take a look guys at the autocorrelation function. Okay, ito yung ACF guys. So this means guys na Correlated yung log 1, correlated yung log 2, kasi lampas siya ng blue line dito. No? Kapag lampas sa blue line dito, ibig sabihin significant. Significant yung mga, yung mga, ano, yung mga autocorrelation niya. So hanggang ano nga, hanggang ano, di ba? Hanggang log 30. 
uh, significant. <clears throat> so this tells us, guys, that our time series is not it's not stationary. No? So, ano yung mga autocorrelation, guys? Yung autocorrelation yan, ano ko lang yung head, ha? head, AP, ano, head ng A1, and then, uh, 20. Okay, dalawa lang, 0.76 at saka 0.76 at saka 0.532. Okay, so if I remove yung 20 doon, okay, dalawa lang siya, no? 0.76 at saka 0.532. Now, hindi ko alam kung bakit hindi niya binigay yung logs ng ano. Log that max is equal to 30, tama naman. Okay, uh, ang importante dito guys, yung plot ng ACF natin. Yung gantong plot na slow decay, this is indicative that your data is non-stationary. So yan, sabi natin, ginagamit natin itong ACF to check kung stationary na siya. That's one. And then if stationary na siya, para i-determine kung anong, ano, kung anong, uh, what uh, what model will be used? No? AR or ano? AR or or uh, AR or MA or combination? Okay, ito yung ayaw ko dito sa ano eh. Hindi nakikita yung ano yung yung label. Kaya that's why I prefer guys yung ano eh. Uh, Bukan natin auto plot no? I plot natin si A1 ng auto plot. I prefer using the A, the auto plot. No? So, auto plot natin si ano si A1, no? And then magdagdag na lang tayo plus yung label natin. Uh, label natin ang title natin. <clears throat> Lagyan natin ang title, no? ACF of air passengers from 19 1949 up to 1960. Okay. So what are we doing? <coughs> oh, kasi A1, guys, it's it's, a, it's an autocorrelation function. Diba? So we're asking R to plot this A1 and then maglagay siya ng label. Okay. So sige, i-run natin itong pangalawa. Auto plot. Control enter. Okay. So Mas maganda siya guys, pang report, pang ano, pang pang uh, paper, no? Kasi yung sa plot function lang. Okay, we can and of course guys, we can still modify that and look make that look like uh na pwedeng pang <clears throat> report, no? Okay, so uh magano tayo, dagdag naman natin guys yung ano Pakalimutan ko lagi yung ano. Let me just copy this. Let's let's uh, now uh, create an object. Uh gawin natin ano. So partial say pina lang. <clears throat> Partial autocorrelation and then PD ton of P. AP then. Uh, wag na natin pa plot to. False na to. Tapos dito na natin siya ipa plot. Hindi ko na papa view. Tapos dito na siya P1. And then this is PACF. <clears throat> this is now your partial autocorrelation function. So we will be asking R to create an object called P1. Isa solve niya yung PACF ng object natin na AP. Ang lag that max is 30. Tapos huwag niya ipa-plot. Pero dito natin siya i-plot sa auto-plot no? para mas maganda. Plus the label. So let's run this.
Okay. All right. <coughs> so dito guys, kita natin na okay, may mga significant plugs, no? Ito yung lumalampas ang blue lines, medyo may mga significant plugs. Okay, so as I said a while ago guys, yung ACF at saka PACF, ginagamit yan sa modeling ng ano ng ng R Arma, no? Ito looks like ano, parang may pagka-arma siya, no? O AR process. Kasi pag AR process, guys, nagkakaroon ng spike sa PACF. So determine guys kung AR process siya, ang tinitingnan natin yung PACF. Kaso guys, again, hindi pa natin pwede magamit to, ma-model siya kasi hindi pa stationary yung data natin, no? Hindi stationary. So we have to uh, make it stationary na muna. No? Okay, so yeah, okay na to, no? Nagawa na natin to. Okay, and then last dito, bago tayo pumunta dun sa susunod, uh, na-install na lang ba natin PSM package? Ah, walang PSM dito, no? So dapat dito din nakalagay yan, no? Ngayon natin dito, library, PSM. Pero dito ko na lang i-run siya. Library, PSM. Okay. Nagamitin natin siya sa, oops, ibig sabihin, kasi bago na itong RStudio ko, wala pa yung PSM ko. PSM. Okay. Ay lang. Okay, so long. Yeah. Not available. Oh. Kailangan natin ito eh. Team error, sir. Ito ba yung kanina, no? Yes, sir. Ito yung inano ko kanina. Sir. O nga, no? Sir. But we need this kasi for the, uh, no? for the AC function. Sayang. Okay. Sa inyo guys, ganun din. Ano sabi dito? I-resolve nga natin to. Uh, sir. Uh, uh, a yes, version sir. of this package for your might be available elsewhere. Kino natin. Nasa ano ba to? Run. Control C. Let me check yung guide nila. Yung suggest Suggestion. Dapat maran natin yan kasi gagamitin natin siya sa susunod na ano, next file. So generic yata na ano to eh. Kaya ba ito? Wala dapat ito. Or dapat ba kasama siya? <clears throat> Uh, generic na ano to. Uh, let's see. Eh. Tulungin nyo ako guys. Hanapin natin. Uh, error in. Yeah. Oo nga eh. Uh, PSM. 
package. See, we need this uh, unless na uh, ang gagamitin natin yung ano. Ipatil natin. <clears throat> Generic. <clears throat> so, sabi niya dito, <clears throat> The package is available, set repositories. Uh, guys, kindly help me, you know. Uh, Ipaki-research natin kung paano. mayroon minsan pag uh, uh, ano yung latest yung ano nyo latest yung yeah, dito eh. pag latest yung version ng ano latest yung version ng R Studio Eh, yung mga packages kasi hindi ano hindi hindi naman lagi siyang nag ano nag-update no so pag nag-update yung R Studio minsan may mga functionalities na hindi na mababasa dun sa ano sa ng R Studio Rather more specific na Ano natin ito? Ito ginamit din niya yung ano, TSM. Before we... Into, uh, okay, ito guys. Subukan natin i-install from development, development tools. Okay, let me share with you this link. Kasi we need this package guys. Hindi pa pwedeng ano. Hindi pa pwedeng hindi natin ma-install to kasi uh, maraming use to na gagamitin natin. Okay, kindly take a look at this, yung Kevin Kotze. So dito, uh, Dev Tools. Okay, so TSM. Okay, so let's see. Let's try to run this. Control C. Ito na lang sa console, i-run, control V. Dev tools, install, underscore, GitHub, Kevin Kotze, yung TSM na package. No? Okay. So may mga dependencies kasi, kaya ano. Yan. Okay. Yan. All right. <clears throat> So minsan guys, ganyan. Pag wala, kasi pag wala pa sa CRAN, ibig sabihin nun, hindi pa natin may install. So you have to hanapin yung author ng package na yun, tapos malamang yan, 
may dun sa development sa GitHub niya, okay, we can install it. So library, PSM. Okay, bakit wala pa? Tama na naman na. Ayan, diba? Iran ko rin yung M filter niya. Yung dalawa, iran ko. Okay, yung M filter, um okay. Pero, ano ba sabi dito sa PSM? Uh, guys, are you following? Masusundan ba? Okay, na, ano naman, na-install naman yung mga dependencies nyo? Yes, sir. Uh, but, same error. Okay, ito yung ginawa natin. Can install that packages. Dev, dev tools. Okay, ito. No? Sa GitHub, in-install yung TSM. Copy ko ulit yan. Ito lang. Control C. Control B. Yan. Okay. Kailangan pa install ko muna yung ano. Mahirap. Matagal ko na in-install ko eh. Dev tools. Okay. Install ko muna yung dev tools. Pa Paki-install. Kung hindi nyo pa ni-install guys. Install nyo. Okay. Paki-chat nga guys. Kung na-install nyo yung ano, TSM. Kindly feedback please. Palagay ko yun na lang yung kulang ko. No? Hindi nag-install kanina yung dev tools. Yan. Okay. Okay. Saan ako na-install to? So, uh, from the GitHub ni Kevin Kotze. Yan. So this should, this should work now. Gonna wait. Kayo guys, ano nangyari sa inyo? Not yet. Okay. Pero sinubukan nyo yung ano, yung si Kevin Con. Ayan, thank you Ina. Ayan, si Ina naka-install na. No? So this is one way guys na kapag hindi nag-install, nag madalas kong ginagawa to, no? kapag hindi na-install, hinahanap ko talaga yung ano, kung sino yung author. Tapos hinahanap ko yung, minsan nagbibigay siya sa ano niya, sa sa ano niya, either dun sa sa website niya uh, instructions kung paano ma-install yung package either using yung dev tools or kung nasa CRAN na direction na, install that package sa CRAN kaso pag wala pa sa CRAN then dun sa ano sa development tools natin ma ano yun either dun sa github ng ano ng author, ayan no okay na, tapos library na ako Library. Okay na to. PSM. Yan. Naroon na. Okay. Good. Alright. So. Okay na. Now we can now use yung. Uh, we can use the AC function from PSM package. No? Which is a very powerful uh, package. Yan AC. No? Yan no. My art test. Gagamitin natin to guys. Pag nag ano tayo. Uh, yung next na lesson which is. Arch and Garch. No? <clears throat> Yan, PSM. Kaya nga kailangan natin talaga i-ano to. I-AC. <clears throat> no? Okay, so before we do that, uh, it's also good to alamin ulit <clears throat> PSM. Ano ba ginagawa nitong PSM AC? No? Ayan. Okay, AC from the autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation function. <clears throat> Para yung kanina din, no? Uh, but this, uh, I prefer this. So autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation function. So simple lang yung ano niya. Simple, simple lang yung, uh, yung function niya. So 
uh, pwedeng ito, no? So, gamitin natin ito. So, AC. And then, yung series natin is AP. AP, comma, and then log dot max. Gawin natin 18 na lang din. 18. 18 logs. And then, we run this. Run. Uy. Log dot max. Bakit? Ano nangyari? AP. 18, baka, baka ilangan ng ano, 30. Nagbigyan natin. Usually 30 din ginagamit ko. I'm used. May ano ba? May limitation ba yung log error? Tama naman. Let's see. So error pa rin. Bakit? Naran pa rin naman yung library. Dito ko i-run to ah. Okay, okay na. So TSM and AC oh. series. Ay mali. Max.log. Okay, sorry. Max.log. Si tertiary lang gamitin natin. Okay? Tapos what happens if my plot dito my plot my plot no? Main Kung ipapa-plot, tignan natin na, I have a, I do, main is equal to ACF, PACF. ACF slash PACF of monthly where messengers. 1949 to 1960. See. Okay. Run natin. Yun. Okay. Okay. So that's why I prefer guys itong TSM. No? Take a look at this. So si side by side na niya. No? <clears throat> Just waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike yung isa kanina guys na kailangan ano pa separate pa ito sabay-sabay na di ba So this is uh, the the uh, say the advantage of using the TSM package <clears throat> kasi meron tayong <clears throat> So ito nakita natin di ba yung plot natin Tapos uh, just to uh, give you some insights about this no of course, hindi pa natin pwede magamit to, guys, as a model kasi yung minu model natin dito, ACF, PACF of monthly air passengers, this is not yet stationary. So, hindi tayo pwede mag-model na uh, AR or MA kasi hindi pa siya stationary. Ang PACF, guys, ginagamit yan to determine kung AR model. Kapag ganito may mga significant spikes, it's a uh, it's a an indication na AR model siya. Okay, baliktad naman si MA ang ginagamit yung ACF ACF plot. Pag yung ACF plot may significant spikes. Okay, kunyari pag binaliktad natin to, kunyari ito yung ACF tapos may significant uh, spike siya at some lags. Then malamang yan ano, MA model yan, no? Okay, ang MA model guys, yung ACF niya parang ganito, tapos yung PACF niya slow decay na parang ganyan. No? Pero ito persistent decay ito eh. Okay? So ganun guys yung, yung ginagawa namin dati. No? Tinitinan namin yung ACF, PACF, tapos titinan kung, of course, dapat stationary na yung data. No? Pag stationary na siya, and then check using ACF and PACF to determine whether our model should be an AR process or an ME process. Ito guys, parang ito, this indicates na AR siya. No? Bakit AR? Kasi guys, titignan natin kung saan merong significant spike. No? Pag spike, ibig sabihin, significant so spike dito, no? point something, point nine something to. Okay. At lag 1, at lag 2, tapos yung iba, hindi na significant. Ito at lag something, lag 12 yata. 
So this indicates na may seasonality siya. Okay, so this is uh, this shows that this might probably be an AR model, no? AR model siya. Okay, tapos kung nabaliktad naman to, nasa ACF to, then indicative siya na MA model siya. No? Paano kung ARMA? Pag ARMA guys, both both may slow decay. No? Okay, so let's Okay, so okay, at least natapos natin yung ano, yung file 1. Now let's go to file 2. Yung bagong sinend ko sa inyo. Now it's a long file, pero ang importante sa atin, masimulan man lang natin, no? Okay, so this is file 2, Arima model part 2 sa class. Kindly open that. And please chat naman guys kung naka-open na. We, we won't have time to finish everything. No? Kasi mahaba tong ano, tong, tong, ano na to. Uh, most probably guys, hopefully makapag ano tayo, yung uh, makeup class uh, Saturday. Again, hindi naman required yung attendance. But goal talaga natin matapos tong ano. Uh, so this week, alam na natin, kabisado na natin. AR, MA, ARMA, how to, how to generate a model, of course using R. Okay, kasi mas madali na ngayon, no? Mas mahirap dati, ma mahaba yung proseso ngayon. Simple, simple yung mga proseso ngayon. Okay, so na open na ba, guys? Okay, thank you. Payus, how about the rest? Okay, thank you. Uh, guys, uh, tanong ko lang ha. Did you encounter yung ARIMA model in your previous subjects? Pakichat naman kung yes or no. <clears throat> Na-encounter nyo ba siya? Before? So, nakagawa na kayo ng model nito? Okay, Payos, thank you. About the others? Ina, Samya? <clears throat> Okay, good, good, yeah, good. I'm I'm happy about that, no? Happy ako na hindi happy ako kasi uh, this is ano, this is something new and then you can use this guys for your research. You can use this for uh, hindi ko lang alam kung sa offices niyo nag nagta time series modeling kayo, pero ito na yung isa sa pinaka powerful na models, no? <clears throat> okay. So, how to make the time review lang to, no? If the time series is not stationary, <clears throat> Then kailangan natin ma-transform yon para maging stationary siya. <laughs> Pag may trend guys, sabi natin kanina, i-difference natin yung data. Okay, so how do you difference the data? So if we have uh, the funk the uh, series z sub t, no? I-minus natin yung z sub t minus 1 to generate a new data series. Ito yung kanina no, yung pinakita ko just to show it again. So this is our Ito original data natin, di ba ito? <clears throat> okay? Now, assuming that this has a trend, no? So, hindi siya stationary. How do we now remove the trend? You get the difference. So, kunin mo na yung difference ng value at time t minus value at time t minus 1 yung previous niya. So, this is now your new, new data series. Ito na yung bagong data. Ito na yung imo-model natin, hindi na yung original. So take note now that you are now modeling a difference data. Okay, kunyari ang data natin, kunyari example, uh, example, kunyari, uh, uh, let's, let's call it data. No? Ang pangalan ng series natin, data. <clears throat> And then tinignan natin, may, may, ano siya, may trend. So we cannot model that. We cannot model data. So kailangan natin i-transform yan by, maybe let's call it D. So D data na. Ito na yung kunyari, ito na yung D data natin. Yung difference data. Yan na yung i natin guys. Yan na yung model natin. <clears throat> okay, so let's, uh, magsisimulate tayo. Okay, may isa pang ano guys, may isa pang method, pero mas ginagamit yung number one. Yung isang method, pag may trend siya, pwede naman tayong, pwede natin i-model yun 
tapos and then pwede nating ano mag uh, mag-arima doon no my friend tapos i-model natin yung receivables pero i i prefer using number one. and then as mentioned a while ago pag constant yung non constant yung variance pwedeng kunin mo yung log or pwedeng kunin yung square root so pag kinuha mo yung log or kinuha mo yung square root yan mag magse-stabilize ng variance yan of course guys remember pag nag-log tayo hindi ka pwedeng mag-log ng ano ng may negative value so usually ang ginagawa diyan mag add tayo ng uh, ng kunyari ang pinakamalaking negative is negative 4 okay so usually dadagdagan natin yung series no ita transform natin yung series din dadagdagan natin ng 5 okay or yung iba ginagawa 4.1 <clears throat> kasi kung negative 4 yung pinakamataas pag nagdagdag tayo kunyari ng 4.1 okay magiging ang lowest na 0.1 na hindi pwedeng magdagdag ng 4 kasi wala ring log ng 0 so kunyari may negative 4 ka plus 4 that becomes 0 no so you cannot take you cannot get the log of 0 okay ang log guys ang ano lang yan ang uh, ang range lang yan is uh, our positive values no <clears throat> all right okay so okay, so just just some more notes here guys after a time series has been stationarized by differencing okay, the next step is of course uh, aside from plotting it again is to determine whether ar or ma models are needed to correct the autocorrelation that remains in the different series Okay. All right. So, gusto kong pumunta na tayo dito sa ano. Okay, some notes here guys. I I leave you guys to ano ah, to to look at this, no? To just read through this. Okay, Dinefine na natin kanina kung ano ACF. Okay. Ito yung sinabi ko kanina, guys. We use the PACF, the partial autocorrelation correlogram to determine an AR regressive process. If the PACF of the difference, kunyari the difference natin, no, of the series, displays a sharp cut-off. Parang yung kanina guys, may mga cut-off, di ba? Hindi siya slow decay. Remember kanina guys, di ba, may slow decay yung ACF natin. Pag yung PACF, sharp cut-off, kunyari nasa lag 1 or lag 2, okay? So, indicative yun na AR, AR model siya. So, importante yan dati, no? Kasi dati, ano, uh, manual yung pag-determine ng pag-try ng ano ng kung anong model yon eh ngayon meron na tayong automatic na sasabihin niya kung ano yung model sa atin eh ganun din guys si MA process titingnan natin yung ACF ganun din kung may sharp cut off diba sabi ko sa inyo kanina pag may sharp cut off yung sa PACF so possible na ano na MA IAR yon pag may sharp cut off sa ACF possible na na MA yon. Pag sa pareho, possible na ARMA yon. Okay. So, in this uh, part now, we, the remaining minutes guys, magsa-simulate tayo. Gagamitin natin yung ano, yung yung stats package. Uh, you don't have to install this. You don't have to uh, load this kasi it comes with base R. Okay. Gagamitin natin yung arima.simulation. No? So, eh, ano nga natin to? Okay. So, what's this? package what's this function all about so simulate from an arima model yan okay so uh, ito magje-generate siya ng arima model no so ito yung syntax niya arima that sim ito yung function and then model ilang data points okay tapos meron pa ditong <clears throat> Meron pang ibang mga functions dito which we're not going to uh, use anymore. Yung basic lang tayo. Okay, tinan yung sample na to, no? Arima that requires din pala ng, ano, ng graphics, no? Uh, let's try to run this, no? I-run natin to para as an example. So, arima that sim, 60, 63 data points. <clears throat> and then we have two. AR2 yung gagamitin niya, no? AR, AR, 2 at saka MA2. So this is an ARMA22 model. No? And then ni specify niyo yung standard deviation. Square root ng 0 
So we'll just use this as an example, no? Okay, so let's let's run this. Uh, copy natin. Dito na lang guys sa ano sa <clears throat> Okay, ano muna natin? Delete ko muna to. Ito na muna yung required graphics. Okay? And then saka natin pong i-run pong Arima that sim control C control B Okay? Right. Lagyan natin ng pangalan to, no? Let's give it a name. Uh, let's just call it X1. <clears throat> Sige, i-run natin to. Ayan. Nagka-X1 na tayo. <clears throat> so, it's a time series. Uh, head X1. Lagyan natin 10. Yan. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so since guys, paki-check na kung pare-pareho tayo ng ano, ng unang data, negative 0.1277 pag hined nyo siya, kaya view. Did, did we get the same values? Yes or no, please. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm back. I'm ko no. Sorry, isang na. Talaga, hindi siya nagko-column wise. Okay, how about you guys? Did you get the same values? Negative 1.277, 0.3648. Did you get the same? Okay, pop feedback please. <clears throat> Hello? <clears throat> are, are you still there, guys? Or I'm sorry if I went too fast. No? <clears throat> Just to summarize, guys, ang ginawa natin, nag-help function tayo ng, ano, ng, ng auto ng arima.sim, no? arima.simulation. Okay, so it, it comes from the uh, stats package. And then, kinapi natin to. And then ang tanong ko, guys, kung pare-pareho ba tayo ng first 10 values? Kasi ito mag-generate, guys, ang ano eh, mag-generate ng time series to. Okay? Tapos pag <clears throat> uh, later on, pag uh, minodal natin to, okay, it will tell us na ito nga yung coefficients niya. Hello, guys. Uh, feedback please kung pare-pareho tayong ano kasi otherwise guys mag ano tayo mag uh, set that seed tayo iba yung sa akin sir hello ay sorry ah nagsasalita ba kayo hello sir ay, were you speaking no sir yes, ano sir. Ah, ano, kamusta guys? Hindi pala naka, naka so ano ko. Yung... Iba yung iba yung sa akin so. Ah, iba. Okay, sige, sige. Ah, uh, maganda kung pare-pareho tayo, no? So ganito gawin natin, guys, no? Okay, copy ulit natin 'to. Control C. Ah, uh, pero mag-set that seed muna tayo dito. Set that seed 1 2 3 4 na lang. 
Okay. And then shift enter nyo. And then control D. <clears throat> Set that seed. Tapos i-generate natin itong si X1. 63 observation siya. Okay. And then yung AR component niya, yung A1 is 0.8897. Yung A2 is 0.48. Tapos si MA naman, negative yung una, positive yung pangalawa. And then dinefine niya yung standard deviation is equal to square root of 0.1796. Okay? So if we run this, guys, magkakapare-pareho na tayo. No? Control enter. Okay, so my X1 na naman ako. And then if I uh, get the head of X1, and then your first 10. Okay, I'm getting 0 0.308, negative 0 0.15. You should, you should be getting the same figures, guys. Feedback, please. Same same. Same. Yeah, okay, good. How about the rest, guys? Para 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 time answer. Okay, <clears throat> sige, tinan natin na. I-autoplot natin to. Let's create an object P3. Uh, where do you want to put it? Dito na lang. Sige. I'm going, I'm going to put it here. Para may record ng... Okay. So dito guys. Ito from the... From the help function of uh, Arima Datsin. <clears throat> okay, good. Same na tayo, no? Yan ang gamit ng, ano, ng set that seed. Okay, so let me, let me copy this. Control C, Control V. Okay, tanggalin ko lang yung dash dito. Yan. I-run ko dito no, para may record ako nung ginawa natin. Yan. Okay, yan na siya. No? Yan na yung time series natin. So yung arima.sim, magkakreate ng ano yan, ng time series. No? <clears throat> okay, and then i-plot nga natin guys. Tingnan natin. Oh, gamitin natin yung auto-plot. So let's call it x plot. No? Alt minus. And then gamitin natin yung auto-plot. Uh, X1. Uh, huwag natin lagyan ng labels. Diretso na. Okay. So. <clears throat> Kasi hindi natin binigyan ng ano. So X plot. <clears throat> Yan. Okay, take a look at our plot, guys. Okay. Kasi ang konti ng... Gawin nga natin ang ano, dagdagan natin. Gawin natin 100, no? 100 man lang. Okay, 100 man lang siya para dumami ng konti. And then i-plot natin. Okay, take a look, guys. Is there a trend in the data? May trend ba sa data, guys? Yes or no? Hello? May trend ba? Up, umaakit ba siya? nag increase over time? Or nag decrease over time? <clears throat> no. Walang trend, di ba? Wala siyang trend. Tapos may fanning out ba? Wala. Constant lang. Constant naman yung variance. Eh. The variance seems to be constant. no? So let's let's use the TSM package para let tayo, no? Control alt minus. Oops. Control alt i. Di ba yung TSM natin? TSM. Yung AC. Di ba? <clears throat> we just did this, no? So ipa-AC natin si ano si X1 X1 and then max maximum dot log is equal to 30 natin. So let's plot this. Okay, take a look guys. What do we notice about the plots? 
significant spike <clears throat> dito. At lag one, spike siya. Mga point, ano, kita nyo, point something, no? point seven something. Tapos dito sa lag two, significant din siya. Tapos may mga significant dito uh, sa lag one, two, three, four. Sa lag five, medyo may konting significant. But the rest, hindi na. No? So this is ind indicative na AR process yan. And rightly so, guys, kasi yung pinamodel pina natin, AR, AR2 process yan. Eh, na, significant sa lag 1 at saka sa lag 2. Although may konting significant dito sa 5. No? Pero generally, it's an AR2 process. Ito naman din, guys. Significant dito. Significant din din dito. No? Okay, so meron din siyang mga significant at, at later, ano, later lags. No? So, pero indicative din siya na MA to. So AR siya na MA so malamang arma to no malamang arma tong ano natin Okay and uh, even before Okay uh, also guys naalala niyo kung ano yung test ang ginawa natin para malaman i test nga natin guys kung ano siya How do we test now if this is uh, if this is stationary na Naalala niyo ano yung ano natin Ano yung ano natin guys? Ano yung yung uh, function natin? We just did this, di ba? From the from the T series package is T series, no? Ano yung test natin? Yung augmented Dicky Fuller test, right? So it test natin guys kung si X1 uh, ang alternative natin, di ba? stationary siya, no? Okay? And then yung k natin, gamitin natin lang k is equal to 12. Okay. So let's see guys, kung stationary ba siya? Uh, is x1 stationary? That's flat. Okay. So what do we have here? Data x1, p value 0.5201. Okay, 0.5201. Tama ba ako? ADF test. Alternative hypothesis stationary. Pero bakit ang p value niya? Ayan. And not stationary. Okay, uh, something's, uh, something's wrong here. No? Kasi dapat guys, si X1, stationary na siya. Eh. Dapat stationary na to. So dapat, ang result nitong ADF test natin for X1 log order is equal to 12. Dali ah. Uh, doing 130 to, baka may kinalaman yun. Hindi pa rin. Log order 30. P-value points 5771. So we failed, we failed to reject that the null hypothesis, the null hypothesis that the time series is not stationary. So not stationary siya. Bakit not stationary? Okay, so assuming na hindi siya stationary, pero dapat stationary na eh. Kasi pinasimulate na nga natin ang arima eh. Okay, let me see ah. Uh, let me generate a data called dx1 which is difference ng x1. Okay, so ito guys yung pag-difference. Pag no? Pag-difference. Okay, then i-view natin. Hindi ko kasi ma-view, so head na lang. Head ng dx1 and then 10. Okay, guys, anong ginagawa ko? No? Kasi dito na surprise, actually na surprise ako na kasi nung nag-simulate tayo ng ARIMA, okay, uh, yung AR1 process and AR2 process, MA1 and MA2, ibig sabihin nito guys, itong, itong time series na to, Dapat stationary siya. It should be at stationary time series. 
Okay, pero nung nag-ADF test tayo, augmented DT cooler test, for the time series package, X1. Tama, X1 naman, di ba? X1 yung object natin. X1, tama. So, X1. Kung lumalabas, not stationary siya. Okay? Okay, sige. Assuming na hindi siya stationary, which medyo highly doubtful ako, no? Let's now generate this uh, new new data, dx1, difference x1. So, kukunin natin uh, difference x1. Okay, let's run this. Okay. Paano na generate to, guys? Head x1. X1. <clears throat> okay. Paano na generate to? So this value, guys, was generated by subtracting this value from this value. Ito yung time t. Ito yung time t minus 1. So let me copy this. So this, control C, minus this. Enter nyan. Yan, <coughs> yan 0.459. Yan. <coughs> so you now have a data, data set guys na ano na 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 naka-difference na, no? So kung tingnan natin yung structure ni x1, a uh, dx dx1, difference x1. So it's a time series na 99 na lang, di ba? Okay, I hope this clear guys. This is clear. 99 na lang siya. Bakit tayo 99 na lang? Eh, di ba yung X1 natin, 100? Kasi guys, pag nag-differencing tayo, mawawalan talaga ng isa. No? Kaya 99 na lang siya. Okay, and then let's... Uh... Kapin ko na lang auto plot, no? Control C. Control D. Kapin ko lang X plot 1. So, DX1. Okay. So ipapa-plot ko si ano si si yung difference na ano no? Yung difference na Ito yung difference series natin guys. Okay, so mukhang station stationary talaga kahit yung kanina yung hindi hindi pa difference stationary. Okay, and then let's see. Let's Let's check guys yung ano yung ADF niya. Copy ko to. Let's run this. Control C. Ito na lang. Control D. Okay, then this should be DX1, di ba? Difference. Okay. So, sige, test nga natin to. Hindi pa rin. P-value 0.26. So, we failed to reject the null hypothesis. I'm wondering guys kung bakit hindi siya stationary, no? It looks like stationary. But let me check on that, no? So let me create now another object, LDX1. Ano naman to? So I'm going to get the log of your DX1. Okay? So another transformation, guys, no? Although dapat hindi na to eh kasi ano naman yung uh, yung wala namang hindi naman cons, hindi naman uh, constant naman yung variance eh. But I'm just doing this to see if if may mangyayari dun sa ano natin, so, sa stationarity. No? So I'm creating an object called log of the x1. Okay, so let's run this. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So may hirapan na tayo pala dito kasi may mga negative values na. No? Ito yung sinasabi ko guys. No? May mga negative values yung the x1 natin. Therefore, Hindi tayo pwede mag-log 
basta-basta, kailangan muna hanapin natin yung minimum nun. Okay? Let's say minimum ng VX1. Pero mas naging complicated na yung, ano, yung proseso. No? So negative 0.98. <clears throat> So, uh, para mawala yung negative, guys, ang pinakamaliit kasi negative 0.98, no? So, uh, let me create another one. Dx1 out minus, and then it's Dx1 plus 1. Nagdagdag ako ng 1 para ito maging more than 0. No? Control enter, and then minimum ng Dx1. Guys, pasensya na kung medyo ano, mabilis ha. Okay, so ito ngayon, guys. Uh, it's already time. Guys, konti extension lang ha. Uh, so positive na siya, no? Yung minimum ng DX1, positive, positive na. So we can now copy this, control C, control D. I-log na natin siya. Pwede na natin i-log si DX1, control Enter. Okay? Alright, then I-test ulit natin ngayon. Kung ano pa rin to guys, ibig sabihin may something wrong with our with what I'm doing here. Uh, so dapat ito log dx1. Let's get the augmented DQ Fuller test kung to test if stationary stationary guys si ano si log dx1. Oh, uh, hindi pa rin, no? So, something wrong, guys. Okay, so let's stop here. Uh, may, may mali dito sa series. May mali dito sa ginagawa ko, no? So, let me, let me check this. Uh, help me also check. Kasi dapat, dun sa differencing pa lang, uh, in fact, sa X1, guys, dapat ano na eh. Itong X1, no? Nung pinat natin si X1, di ba? Stationary na siya, no? So dapat nung nag-ADF tayo, augmented Dicky Fuller for X1, dapat ano na siya, yung p-value natin should be uh, less than 0 0.05 so that we reject the null hypothesis that the series is non-stationary. Okay? So we'll continue with this next meeting and ang goal natin guys, mahaba-haba to. So kung pwede guys, pakitingnan tingnan na yung, ano, ano, yung the other parts. Okay, ng model natin. Yung iba naman, mga notes lang eh. No? Katulad nito, so general form lang ng ARIMA PDQ na discuss na natin to actually. So a, a lot of things here are more, more notes. No? So uh, kakayanin naman natin na matapos to ng next meeting. And then hopefully, uh, by the way guys, yung next meeting will be, kung pepede, a Saturday na make up class. Tapos, ano, tapos uh, you don't have to attend it you're not available, but I'm going to open the, the recording and if you want to attend, uh, you, you, may, you may do so. Okay? Ito may, nag-ano tayo dito, nag, uh, ginamit natin, nag, nag, nag model tayo dito ng Apple stocks. No? Sa ilalim. Okay, so let me stop recording.